once again. This is Bites of Reality, and I'm Indira. And joining me today, Moya. To run. There we go. And today we'll be discussing episode three of Ready to Love. So, folks, we got a chance to watch the episode. What did we think? Let me start off by just saying that I love this episode. It was a breath of fresh air compared to last yes. week. I think yes. the quality of the dates went up this week, and I am so they happy did. with this episode. They did. Yes. Yeah, I, I agree. That that would be my first thing. The dates this week were way better than last week, and I actually now can see where um, Own or Tommy or, or, or Will, whoever, they're trying to kind of put these people together based on some commonalities. Like I can see where they're like, okay, I think these two may work together. Like I can see that now. Right, right. Okay, Taran, what'd you think? I thought it was better. And I actually, I thought this was a new character, but Precious. Oh, <laughs> Precious. You remember the name. Good yeah. for you. I had to remember, I was like, wow, this girl is beautiful when she came in. But then I think, is that red dress? That's red dress. That's red dress. She looks totally different. I don't know, I didn't see her see her, but I was like, this girl pretty, like when she's sneaking here, like I miss an episode or something or? <laughs> yes. But that, is, that is red dress. Red you dress. See how hard she, you see how hard she was fighting for your boy, Paul? Mm. I saw that. I saw that. Because I feel that the things that Sabrina is calling out is true, but it works for me because I am flighty, a little uh, touch and go. And I need someone that's going to give you a focus in your life. And sometimes that rigidness can, can, can be good when the opposites attract in that kind of connotation. This week they had two more curveballs, two new singles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Dakia was sent on a blind date and she met Eric. Yes, Moy. I, I, I am feeling Listen. what you were doing. <laughs> because I was kind of concerned with her and Clifton, her and Paul. Like, who is she going to connect with? But watching this date with Eric, I said, that's him. That's, that's him. it. That's it. Listen to me. Listen to me. Eric is. Now, I hope he don't let me down right. moving forward. But he, seem, he seems to have a good grounding. He seems to be a grounded person. Um, and he, good conversation, mm -hmm. good job, good background. For her, perfect, because he already has kids. She may or may not be able to have kids. As, as a, and, and, and again, with the dates of substance, we learned he's a cancer survivor. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And again, the personality, he has a family member with cancer. She's a cancer survivor. Both are engineers. It, I, that, that, that's, that's it right there. That's it right there. Like, that's the kind of connection where I could see, like, they had the chemistry. They had the background. They had everything. Like, I could see kind of where the whole Camille, you know, when she lost into Cornelius last, the Cornelius from, Camille and Cornelius from last season. Mm -hmm. I could see yeah. someone kind of trying to lock in on him because he seems to be such a quality person. But to that point, you would see how Takiya played it. She still, she took, you know, he, she was the one responsible for introducing him to everybody else, or at least in a small group. And she was like, oh, Cornelius, let me talk to you. This year's Cornelius now. Let yeah. me talk to you. I haven't met you yet. She still was, you know, she still was moving around. She was letting him talk to other people. Not letting him. As, as Aisha would say, still going through the process. She was going through right. the process, and and she wasn't getting jealous as he was talking to other women. And I was like, yeah, I like it. And he vibed with everyone he talked to, and I think that is something that's like great, like for anyone, but it's specifically a guy. And that's and again, I would compare him to Demetrius, who to me he doesn't seem to be trying to like necessarily vibe with anybody. He seems to be the one that wants them to come to him. Seems like he wants to be chased. I want to see you again. Mm -hmm. When you get the baby, you have a date? Absolutely. All right, cool. But do you think that's so how he is, or do you think that's how they might be edited? Because I don't think they're showing them, they're giving him any camera time. It could be both. Stage. No, they're giving him camera time. They're giving him camera time. He On that bus, they, when they were showing the conversations, he sat in the back. And he was looking out the like out on the, no, I wouldn't yeah. say the window because they weren't yeah. looking out the side. And the and even Sabrina said, now what I didn't like that she said was that she wanted him to fight for her. And I was like, um, what? 
what? Where are we? What are you talking about? No, but I get what she's saying. To the point. Hmm? No, I got what she meant by that. Not, I don't think she right. meant like there's this fight, but like, you know, put some effort into it. Right. Like, he just you know? was sitting there. He was just sitting I, there I, I, and he was not trying. I got to get the key of points though, because I liked what she did with, um, what was the guy that you mentioned? That she said, hey, we haven't had no one on ones, you know, let me get a chance to know you. I like that because corny, you know, corny corny women, is. Yes. Oh, it's a corny thing. Yes. Oh, a lot of women expect, like, you know, they always, you know, they just believe that, okay, if, even if they are attracted to a guy, that they shouldn't do any kind of chasing, and so they wouldn't even make an effort. But I like that she actually threw it in. It was kind of playful. It was nice. And she still got what she wanted to know a little bit about him and then, you know, still keep it moving. Right, um, but right. The Demetrius, I don't like that he is just, I don't know what his problem. Like, he's just in the box, like, not even making an effort or anything. His whole presence is like just very. Now, I said it could be two things. It could be he's extremely shy, but I don't feel like he's shy, but it could be that he's extremely shy and reserved, or like I said, he wants to be chased. I will, right now, it just feels like he wants to be chased because every time we've seen a conversation with him, it's been the woman leading the conversation. Yeah. It's been the woman hitting on him. It's been the woman leading him, like Precious in the mixer, she was leading him down the path. Um, Sabrina was having the conversation last week, in last week's episode, Takiyo was telling him how he had BDE and this and that. He was just sitting there Pulling that all in. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I feel that energy. It's that right. I don't want to say this is the BDE, but you, <laughs> you're giving it to me right now. Demetrius, that man is smooth as silk, and I am here for it, honey. Like, but you're gorgeous. So Ooh, I understand. Appreciate that. Hey, I do have a little, you know, a little style. I like, like your ice. Thank I like you. your bling bling. Thank you. Is that a topaz? Yes. That's my middle name. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. He was just sitting there pulling that all in. And he didn't even, like, with Eric, like we see with Eric, return a compliment okay, right right Eric was like hey i like you know hey you beautiful i like looking at you he wasn't even giving us like when she said that well i think you're beautiful too or something you know what i mean mm -hmm. he wasn't yeah. like he wasn't in or anything like that so either he's extremely shy or he just doesn't and he he presented himself as somebody who was like a playboy so i can't it just if you were a playboy then it just seems like you want to be chased because I was in the military. I joined the military straight out of high school. Did 21 years and couldn't settle down, just running from women to women. But now, I just recently retired, so I want to have fun and enjoy life, and I want to do that with someone else. Right. That's this how we come to even being right. shy, but that's a good point, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm not on that, you know, I, that bus state. Well, that bus state, I can just jump to that bus state, because that was the worst state <laughs> of the episode. It was not a, it's not a, it's not a good, and it's not a good situation to have a conversation and to, for it to be a date for an entire group of people. If it was just two of them, I think it would have been better. Yeah. But, but that, but all of them, you know, who had a date similar, um, in the area, if you would remember Atlanta cycle two with, uh, Ton, uh, Tondi and, and Mario, those, they had a similar thing on like this little, um, it was a vehicle kind of thing, but it was like a cycling yes. thing. Well, they were cycling, and, yes. Yeah. And it was around like a table. Yes. And that was a bit better because they were facing each other and it was everybody could talk to each other as opposed to you have to sit on the side. But I felt like he should have AJ A what's the new the new lady's name? AP. Yeah. AP. AP. He should have positioned himself with AP because that to me would have been more whatever. He would seem like he'd already talked to Sabrina. So I feel like he should have put himself mm -hmm. in the front and said, I well, let me, let me call at you. I wondered what, if there was an issue with them getting up and moving around. Cause like once they were planted, that was it. Like they didn't get up or try to move in the bus where they were. So I don't know if they were restricted to where they were seated. So even if they didn't want to- He talk, should not, I just them. felt like he should not have gone in the back. Like nobody was in the back there. Right. He should have gone, that is, that's true. or he should have engaged with Sabrina and um Tori. It wasn't like he couldn't have a conversation with the three of right. them. Just like Paul, Paul, um, Precious, and uh, Tiffany had a conversation last week. People just like the, the group painting date. Everybody was talking yeah. when Joy was talking to um uh Eric. Right. You know, the kid jumped in. Like he could have jumped in. So it was he. Even with the editing, you saw him in the background because I kept my eye on him this time. 
looking out the window, not at, he would look from the side of his eye and, and it was just weird. It was just. It would be nice if Demetrius was closer so that he and I can engage in conversation. Yeah. I understand giving space and wanting to be respectful, but it would have been nice to have known you're in the running still and that you still want to fight for me. Maybe he's the socially awkward one this season. You know, there's. It doesn't there's, look so, though. She it doesn't. Fun. It's because doesn't they, presented, so. they presented him as this guy who he was a playboy in one time and now he's ready to settle down. That was kind of his package. Yeah. Like, you know. Have you been married? I guess I was uh, married before. I'm, I'm How long were you married? Oh, it was a short period. So it was like three years. Okay. Um, so yeah. it wasn't a good feeling, yeah. especially when you know you're at fault. Mm -hmm. um, so I own that. I take ownership of, you know, that relationship and marriage uh, dissolving. And I wasn't really uh, secure in who I was at that time. I did have some infidelity um, issues in that marriage. I'm wondering if he, if they, you like, know what? if they like, pushing him to be there, but he don't really want to be there. Right. Right. It's and like they do want to be there. They're like, oh, you, you, you know, you have this, you have that, you have that. We want you to be on the show because you know some of them are casted or they're pulled in or they're asked to come in. And if he was asked to come in, he may feel like he's doing them a favor. So I don't know. You know, that's that's. I, I he got one more episode. <laughs> he got one more <laughs> that's episode. It. And I, know, yeah, I'm like, oh, get what do you think, at? Something has to be happening behind the scenes because he is not off elimination you know so something else has to be going on that we just they're just not filming and catching uh the viewers to see he's not up for elimination because the women find him attractive uh, demetrius you know demetrius is very tailored he's very put together and you buy in on all of that oh it's, it's, it's good <laughs> <laughs> let's start with demetrius let me tell you the suit game was on point yes. like he came in with eggplant plum Demetrius as well. I mean, he's just like a nice Demetrius. piece of dark chocolate. Like, how could you not? That chocolate thing. Mm. I found it interesting with that date, though, on the bus. Sabrina said that those were her top picks. Wiley. She said, didn't Corey and Demetrius. No, not Wiley. She didn't say Wiley. She, she said, said, didn't she, she say Tristan? No, she's, no, Sabrina. She said she planned the dates because these were her top guys. She wanted to go out on a date. Whoa. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. She invited AP on. So I don't know. Okay. Who, I don't know if her being on the the group date with all them changed her mind, maybe about Demetrius or you know, some of them. Sabrina. Sabrina. Oh, I don't think so. I think she seems like she talked to him. Hopefully, she talked to him at some other point other than the mixer. Like, hopefully, she talked to him on the phone. Right. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. Like I, I want. I, he got one more week, so that's all I have to say about him. He has one more week. Tori has lost his position in my lineup. Like I'm just underwhelmed with him at this point. Yeah. Lo lots of um, changes in in the lineup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eric, Eric, Eric is Eric is Eric is the one to beat right now. <laughs> Eric is the one to beat. And Clifton. And Clifton to wait. If we're talking about Listen, dates, yeah. I think the Kia, the Kia actually got some points too because I was like, okay, step and pain, okay, cool. And then the little switch up, I was like, okay, the Kia. You know, I had little little reservations about you, but I kind of like switch uh -huh. you, know, you know, you got little brains, you got little, you know, you know, <laughs> finesse. Little I was like, okay. Yeah. That, uh, the other but, lady but you see what I said about her being accomplished. She yeah. was a, she's an engineer with NASA. Yes. And I was okay. Like, okay. Okay, yeah, I see. Wait, you. I'm telling you. Now the other I time she danced. She danced. She's a dancer. Yeah, she danced. She has a dance studio on, on the side. The other right. time all we got introduced to AP and Clifton was tasked with taking her out on the mm -hmm. date. And that one we can say awkward. I wonder why they put over Clifton. I'm trying to figure out why why did they, they think and I because I think it's a reason. I guess they have two kids, one is a widow, one, but I couldn't figure out because I was like, maybe she should have gone on a date Ooh. with Demetrius. You know what I'm saying? Match, like, you know. Maybe they match on paper, but like she said that when she met him, he felt she he gave her brother vibes. Right. Yeah, she she well she's not she's a beautiful lady. I, well, Taran, what are your thoughts? Well, I think she's nice looking. I think she shouldn't have said the whole brother thing because I think the date was going fine until she said that, and then it was just like, oh, okay, now it's 
They can't wait for this to be over. I think Clifton was being very tolerant because from the moment he realized it was at a vegan restaurant, I think he was like, okay, who is this person? What are they coming with? A vegan restaurant. And so by the time they got to when she was like, you remind me of my brother. He was like, oh, hell. Over it. Everything's over. It's over. I thought it went well. I thought the conversation went well. I thought we learned about, mm-hmm. you know, like me, I'm about learning about who they are and that kind of thing. But there wasn't any chemistry. There wasn't no. any flirty kind of thing going on. Like she doesn't maybe, and you know, with Clifton, Clifton is very flirty, but she wasn't very flirty. She doesn't give off very flirtatious vibes. She, she seems to be very straight line um like i think the key does business. that very well yeah the oh, key and the boy, i think on the talk for how they interact with the man even if they're not interested they're very good and precious too and precious, they're very I good at having precious too mm-hmm, they're very good at having conversations and being engaging if they're not into you and it, it flows very well so i think yeah. that's where they and she's kind of like okay you give me you remind me of my brother uh you remind me of my students next please right. the same way and, and she and it's fine because she's polite she's not you know she's not yeah impolite right like but I, I, the last I, girl I got her, off. right i wanted to hear her conversation in the because she was on the bowling date with demetrius and paul and they were I, I was watching i was looking in the back when joy was talking to laverne and they were in the back talking and I said, why didn't they show the conversation? And then there was a piece of, at the end of Laverne and Joy's conversation where you see them sitting there, but no one's talking to each other. So I said, yeah, they probably given dead conversation. Joy was really the life of that party, that bowling, um, that bowling yeah. Um, yeah. date. Yeah. Um, Joy is fun. Joy looks like someone I would enjoy yeah. kicking. Yeah. It's a I fun like person. that some of their energies are, at least I like that some of them have done the work <laughs> to actually find themselves and get to a place of grounding before they actually, well, so they say, before they actually move on. So that'll be like Eric, the key, um, or... Um, what's, what's, uh, what's, yeah, a lot what's of them, a lot of them, hearing them talk, they talk about how they've done the work, and so they are at a point where they're ready. Now, some of them, like, don't seem so. Cornelius no. said he did the work, but he didn't do the work. It's obviously... He didn't do the work. Cornelius didn't do the work. Cornelius went. Cornelius was dragged to a session when he cheated on the last girlfriend, and he may have gone to two sessions because of that. And then he say, "I went to therapy." I was like, "Cornelius, you, Cornelius does not talk like someone who goes to therapy. He does not engage like someone who has in who's been introspective enough. Because if he did, he would have been able to say, uh, this is how I feel about marriage.' Blah right. blah 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 blah. Right? Because he seems right. to be petrified at the talk of commitment." He did it again this week with Dakia. Only thing he didn't accuse her of anything. And he said, oh, I want to have kids. And, um, but she seems to want a commitment. And that's just, I was like, what, why, who, what, who called you to this show? Who called you? Cause how they call you here and your thing is, I don't want to be commitment, but I want children. Yeah. You need a surrogate. Yeah, oh, you want a surrogate. Can't make it no sense. Yeah. Wants to create- and even when Maybe you mom. remember even Ace, Sorry. No, I say he wanted to create a baby mama. <laughs> yeah. Even when Ace, he was talking about enjoying sex and sex being important. And Ace said, oh, so you're very, you're very affectionate. And he said, oh, well, I think so. And I was like, hold up, hold up. So you enjoy sex, but you ain't show up you're affectionate or not? And right. the two kind of go hand in hand. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. <laughs> so you, 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 you're not, you're not sure if you're affectionate. Yeah. You don't want to get married. You're not. You don't like commitment, but you want babies and you like sex. Got it. Yeah. Duly noted. Tick. Tick. What I like about Joy is that she seems to say what we in the audience are thinking. Because when in she, which, which because when she was talking with with Cornelius, she was like, "Well, he named his cat Pimp. I don't know, you know, how I feel about that." And I was like, "I agree." <laughs> <laughs> and then she talked about have- Paul on the, the bowling day and she was like, Paul, Paul, you gotta you kind of have to get Paul where Paul is coming from. And me and Paul, we yeah we kind of have to get him. I was like, I agree. And then she's like, but Laverne, you know, me and Laverne could flirt, but Laverne looked like <laughs> I was like, I agree. <laughs> what do you say when a man tells you he's painting his dead cat pimp? 
Not saying anything's wrong with that, but there's no way in the world I can be completely serious with you right now. We had we had two single dates this week. We had one with Clifton and Joy, and we had one with Paul and Sabrina. And just generally, I like the fact that the women were very clear in their communication about how mm -hmm. they felt about the men like they they weren't leading them on they was like you know what i like you i like you I was yeah. like, well, i'm concerned about this you know if you're so future focused you're not living in the moment i was like wow these are real conversations about what the expectations what are yeah. the what they're looking for so i really appreciated that with with those dates that's why I didn't have a problem when a when AP said you you feel like my brother like that was the real of it like let's cut it off here because is I get brother vibes from you mm -hmm. and it was a nice way and then with Sabrina it was like I'm getting mandrel vibes to you mandrel vibes mean you old yeah. you do it for me <laughs> I think Paul we'll probably asked for that date see and this is the case again of and I'm looking at the even looking at the previews for next week this is the case of we talked about this last week yeah, in who Paul want, don't want him. Right. It's very clear that Paul is an ambitious go-getter. It kind of gives me pause because I need someone who's going to reel me back. And he kind of gives me someone who's going to be pushing me even further. So yeah. fighting for him this, this week, and I'm yeah. wondering if next week, when it's the man's time, right. if he's going to fight as hard for him. He looks like he was having some, some things to say. Yeah. Really bad, or because that's the only person who really kept me up, really. But they don't know. Sometimes they don't know that because it happened pre previous seasons ago with David and um uh, Liz. You're gonna have a romantic hat. You're gonna have a I got your back hat. But I definitely want that friendship hat where. Yes. Man, you're my buddy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Be my buddy. Yeah, but not just that hat though. Okay, I just want to make. No, no, no. Just... Don't worry about it. Don't come here. Just... Come here. I want to make sure you see the whole. The oh, head right. rack over there. All right, right. all right, good, good, good. good. Liz was really, really the only one who really wanted David at that point, and he can call Kyra name in the confessional because he was mad that the Liz had gone on a date with another young man and they had kissed, and he found that out in the what they call the deliberation. And so I think to be petty, he said Kyra oh. was his club connection, and everybody was like, "What?" And then Kyra had to explain, you know, like, oh, well, she was just keeping in touch with them and asking them how they were doing and that kind of thing. And then he, but that was ridiculous because Liz was your top connection. So Liz ended up in the bottom that week. But then the following week, because Liz ended up having Jason as another connection, he got sent home because she was his only connection. And after that, she put him in the bottom, but she didn't put him in the bottom. He just ended up in the bottom because right. Liz was his only connection. And he tried, he tried, they basically threw her under the box. So, so Paul's, Paul is very arrogant, like he's very arrogant and it comes out very much so when he's dealing with people that he is not fully attracted to because he was very soft with Sabrina. He was very soft and likable with Sabrina. So learning, you know, who I am, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think that that could be somebody that can make you happy? How old is Sabrina, um, Andy Rock? Because you keep ages. Yeah, I think Sabrina's like 36, 37. Okay, because she reads younger. She reads yes. a lot younger, and then that's like at least a 10 year difference because he's Paul 48. Is 48. That's 12. Exactly. Uh, that's, yeah, that's 12. I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's kind of making sense now. Why? Yeah. yeah, Paul, I don't know. I don't know what he was hoping for, but remember um, so when they had the pool day down in the basement? I think that's when Cornelius was there, and Cornelius was like, well, let the, let the women win let them play don't don't make it a competition with the ping pong he did the same thing with bowling he's he, yes he was like he, want, he likes to instruct or or show both. yeah right. oh, you remember the last week i said the same thing contact. right would you say to last week I said the same thing about paul last thing i said the same thing about paul like it's gonna have to be somebody that that personality Gonna be have to be a bit dimmer than him because he wants to be in charge. Like it's it's about him. Like whatever mm -hmm. he wants, just be subjective. Let me put it like that. And I don't think mm, those girls there that I see are gonna take Paul's foolishness. <laughs> it may start off a little cute and out. They may. I think it's gonna start off a little cute in the beginning, but 
Mm-hmm. Maybe a couple of weeks and they could be like, I don't know, hold on, buddy. Like, yeah. no, just ain't how it is. So yeah. These women know what they want. And yeah. they ain't like no bad looking girl. Like, they like sexy women. So they know they could get beyond Paul, way beyond Paul. So I don't think Paul would even have Paul only last for you a couple of weeks. There. He's hanging on by the, the skin of his teeth. But like I said, when he's talking to someone, he lies. Because like I keep reflecting on the clip in the trailer where he's pouring out his heart to somebody at the lake or the river or whatever. So I am curious to see like who that is he's talking to. Um, and I think that's why Taranti, your point, he targeted um, Sabrina because she was young. And a lot of the times they look at the young and say, okay, maybe I can... I can mold her into what I want her to be. Oh, no. So like wrong other generation. women say what? No, I say, oh no, wrong generation. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it isn't, it isn't even a generational thing because he can literally find someone who's 40 something who wants to be told what to do. You see how Joy was looking at him at the bowling date. He was like, uh, aim your wrist at the arrow. And I'm like, who don't know that, Paul? Like, who don't know you go at the arrow in the middle of the bowling thing? You don't need to tell her that. She's a 41 year old woman. Joy but she was like, him. Okay. Yeah, I okay, saw that. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was kind of scared. And then was, the ball. I thought she was, she was actually nice. But at the time, you could see the look on her face like, okay. Oh, that's what you do? You put it, you put it to the arrow? Okay. All right. So, right. And then he was directing AV as well. And he was, and they were looking at it. Everybody was looking at him. And he kept saying, yeah, yeah, that's what you do. And he thought they were confused, I think, at his instruction. Oh, it was no. really that, they were confused that he was actually giving constru- instruction yeah. on something like that. Exactly. No, he did not. He, he needs someone he can instruct. And if Precious is really saying that's what she wants, mm-hmm. that may be his best option. But I don't know that. I'm not sure yet if he feels the way, but Precious the way she's saying she feels about him. Because I know to run down so. such I don't think, well, no, she might, I agree, she might, she, well, according to her, she really likes him, but I don't think he feels that strongly about her. According to yeah. her, she has never felt this way before. That was oh. weird. Said that, I was like, that reminded me of Laverne and, and Ace. It was like overkill. It was like, what? No, but if you mm-hmm. pay attention, you'll see what they said this week. The liberation. A said, a said her and Laverne talk all the time. Yes, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. I said it. I said they have to be having conversations. So I'm assuming it's the same thing with Precious and Paul, that they're having conversations. Because when she met with him at the date to possibly send him home, she mm-hmm. said, we've had conversations. And he agreed. He said, we've talked about this and we've talked about that. And he agreed. He didn't, he wasn't, you know, she kept, she was saying, I guess to prove like, hey, we've been talking, we've talked about this, we've got personal conversations and he agreed. So clearly they must be talking as well. So uh, I want to see what happens next week, definitely with, as far as Paul and Precious. Um, but I am, I am actually very excited to see w- what happens with Eric because I really like the Eric and I'm the Kia. To see what happens with Eric and Joy. You think and something Joy. is happening with Eric and Joy? Ain't nothing happening with Eric and Joy. I don't Again, know. We go to I, I, think, I think Joy. I think Joy was locked on with Clifton, and I don't think anybody else really caught her eye. But I think Eric caught her eye with the conversation. She was like, "Oh, I need to, I need to add you on Instagram." So I said, "Oh, Joy likes him." Yeah, I yeah, think she's the does. only other one outside of Clifton that caught her attention, but. In the in the in the trailer, I'm just there are at least two other clips with her kissing Clifton at two different occasions. Right. And she was and then one of the dates that I thought I thought was her and Clifton was actually her and Laverne, the pottery oh. date. Okay. In the in the, trailer, the date where he's behind her on the pottery, that was her and Laverne, she and Laverne. Okay. Now, what do you think about what they said about Laverne and deliberations? Because I thought that was a bit, I thought of, I thought, well, Carmen, Miss Carmen, who spent all of last um episode throwing darts and jabs at other people is uh-huh. saying that negative. negative. And I'm like, but you were the one talking about people and not their real hair and how you don't like locks and this, that, and the third, but now you're claiming he's negative and I haven't seen anything from him that's negative. I you feel think, that, that. I think it's a matter of his sense of humor because in the bowling alley, if you remember when AP was, when yeah. they were in the AP, and he went, he said, I'm Laverne, you know, and he's like, that's a nobody, that's a nobody, that's a nobody at the other guys to say, don't pay attention to them. 
And I think depending on your personality, you may take that as negativity. So it's possible that's where she's coming from in that he, he says stuff and she interprets it as, as negativity or we're not seeing something. I, her personality is the same as that though. Her personality is very forward and abrasive. And to me, someone who would, who would get a humor, you know, a, a joke, he was being joke. He was clearly joking around that would get something like that. Like she is not like she's, ace where she's soft and dainty and everybody's like everything is light and love she was very boop 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 last week so i'm just going on her personality and how she presented for her to say oh he's this way well you know sometimes you can't see when it's right there you you can see it in others but you can't see it in yourself so yeah. <laughs> but i feel like she said it in a I feel like she said it like she's like, oh, I'm this way. I feel, you know, I feel, I, I don't know. I feel like she was just, I don't know. I'm wondering if something happened like with the David Liz thing, where right. some, mm -hmm. sorry, my error, where something happened with them behind the scenes because that's who she liked last week. She liked him last week. She enjoyed the date. Then now all of a sudden he's negative. And so I feel like she threw him under the bus because they may have had a falling out. That's what I feel. But okay. she's saying the type of person to do something like that. That's, right, because they, they had a really good date. She was touching his butt and everything. Yeah, and she left there saying, I want to do this again. Wait, who, who was touching so, his butt? Um, Laverne, last, last week. Laverne. Oh, oh okay, okay. okay. I don't know. I think he's a bit pushy, though. In what way? I, I was watching I was watching his interaction with Joy, and I just... I understand that he's pushing the envelope, but I still felt like he was still a bit, doing a bit too much. Like it's a, it's almost like a pause. Like he wasn't reading, he wasn't reading, he, w he wasn't reading the interaction. Because you know, like how I could be having a conversation with you and we could be joking and stuff, but I still reading you to know like when that personality or something switch off. Like oh, okay, you know, it's a little bit, little bit off or too a little much. bit too much in me. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just feel like he's too much. He could be too much. I, I think in. because of Joy's personality, he wouldn't have read the room because she was still engaging. See, Joy has that. Joy, that's why I say Joy and Dakia and Precious, they know how to keep you, whatever. So he was saying, oh, touch my butt, which uh, you don't want to. You know. Right. But yeah, she I was, and I was her. glad she said, I can't be touching everyone's butt. But she still, you know, she still had a hand around his waist. Like right. she was still right. touching him. So there was still like a connection. There was still some kind of affection. So it was very playful. And so I think because Joy played it the way she played it, he didn't look as much of a pervert as he could have come off had he tried it with someone else. Right. But I want to see him. I want to see him and Ace on a date. I don't, it seems like they had a date that was recorded because they flash back to it um, during the deliberation. But I wonder why they didn't show that date because I really, maybe it was a future date. I don't know. But I really want to see how they, inter like what their, the energy was and their flirtation level was like because he seems to be doing a lot with every other woman yes but i realize Where now because he his personality is very much like that so he needs that peace and that calm from ace okay balance him mm -hmm. out because if you notice he's very much he's excitable Hi. now if i help you do a bikini do i get to tan you and everything you ain't get to rub the tanning oil all oh, over see me. that's what i'm talking about <laughs> would you like that <laughs> yes i would love that i think the only thing i don't like about laverne is the thing that i like about him is that he's social right no one wants their man like a balloon flying off in the air he just needs a good woman to whip him into shape okay so now let's talk about our top and bottoms because i know more you want to get to that right now tops and bottoms <laughs> You say top and bottom, that sounds so weird. Yeah. Uh, but my top way, uh, Cornelius, sorry, Cornelius leaving was no surprise. Not at all. But no. to some people it was because a lot of people thought Paul would be leaving. But I, but, right. and, and even online people are like, oh, why didn't Paul go? Why? Paul needs to go. And I'm like, y'all do realize like nobody sp spoke up for Cornelius, but someone spoke up for Paul. Right. Um, the in the bottom, Laverne's name was also called up, I think, by two people. So he was kind of at risk as well. But Ace spoke up for him. See, the thing is, if you have someone to speak up for you, then they can save you. If you have no one to speak up for you because you ain't making an effort to reach out to no one, then, then yeah, 
it's not going to be they're going to get saved because you like them in the audience at home they're going to get saved because the people in the show they are engaging with them and then they are making some kind of an effort and i don't think cornelius came there to make an effort because cornelius came there to i don't know have fun or promote a brand or something because i know he has a business and that kind of thing i see him promoting shirts or whatnot i haven't been married I've been close to marriage, but at that time, that wasn't where I was mentally. Um, but yeah, it was no surprise. But my top, uh, my top guys, Clifton is still in the top. Eric, um, that's it. I still like Wiley too. I still like Wiley, but I see where people are saying he is too young for the women there. Um, but what I do like about him, and that I think would make him a good contender, or that I think makes him a good contender, is that he's an educator. Um, I think what he said in the first episode is that he works at a charter school um which is like a high school or whatever and i don't know if he teaches music or whatever so that was the connection he and ap had where they're both um they're both i guess they both uh teachers um as well as as well as takia that was a connection they would have had whereas she teaches dance he, he, he does whatever he teaches. i don't maybe he teaches football i'm not sure of what he teaches but um i still like wiley but again i want to see him with someone that he connects with. I don't think he connected with uh, Tiffany in the last episode, even though he had slight, uh, you know, he did try to express an attraction towards her. He was very much saying like, um, she's nice, but I gotta, any time they say, oh, this is great, but I gotta explore my other options. There's like, yeah, they really, you know. Which you're blessed. Uh, I'm blessed too. Uh, you, you, you know, I haven't, you don't know all the parts of me. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know other parts of you. Yes, but I'm, That part was exposed. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> What's drawing me to Tiffany is it seems like easy conversations to be had. But at the same time, I want to make sure that I, I make my rounds. He was more like, oh, she's nice, but I got to explore my other options. Um, but my talk, I like Wiley. Um, my ju the ju my, I'm out on uh, um, where Tori, Tori right now is just there until I see something of substance from him. And then um, my top this week is Eric. Clifton is second. Mm -hmm. right. Girls, women wise, women wise, I like um, Joy and, and um, Joy and Takia. Okay. Okay. No, that's that's actually my topic for this week. It's okay. Takia and Joy. Okay. Um, okay. And <laughs> the bottom, the bottom, I would definitely say I would agree with I would agree with you. Uh, Wiley and Demetrius. I'll put them two in the bottom. Like, no, you would agree with me. Go somewhere. No, I mean, what you said about I, Wiley. I don't oh, think the okay. I don't think the ladies there. They they're looking for someone a bit more, a little more grown or yeah. something. They give me like playfulness and and sorry, they give me like playfulness and so I'm like this woman and they ain't one that I didn't finish with that up here. They want yeah. you know mature ready right? to take them out on you know sophisticated places and. I think the key are the key and joy give me a good match of that. Like they could be playful, they could be flirty, they could, and they just know how to bring you down if anything in a professional or in a um, non insulting manner, but you still get mm -hmm. the point. So I kind of right. like that about them right. too. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, let's see. I like, I like the key this week. I loved watching her on her dates and I got to know her a little bit more. I was diagnosed with cervical cancer when I was 30 years old. I was blessed that it was caught early, so I was able to go through some treatments and avoid chemo. Since then, I am nine years cancer-free. Well, I'm nine glad years. you survived. Me too. Because <laughs> I'm ready to love over here. Oh. And Let's take another drink to that. I know it was a hard journey because my uncle has cancer, but it's in remission now. That really struck something with me. It made me feel like this is a strong woman. I, I like Joy, and I still like Ace. Ace is still my girl. So those three, I still like Ace, but we didn't get to see her this week. Right, we didn't get to see her. Yeah. So those are my those are my favorites. I I am a little concerned about Precious saying that she only has a connection with Paul. So I hope we get to at least see something maybe with her and Demetrius or her and the new person that's that's coming next week. She seems excited. Um, because I'm I'm concerned for her um for that. Um, the guys, yeah, the guys, I'm not feeling Demetrius just because I don't, I don't know. I, I don't see anything. I don't know anything. So I don't know what's there. And Paul, Paul comes off a little awkward as well. So yeah, 
Um, top for the guys is 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 tough because I like Eric. I like the entrance he made. I have some. I still have some questions, so I'm gonna wait to see you know how that plays out. But he so far he made a good showing. Um, what questions do you have? I'm curious. Say again. You said you have some questions about Eric. What are they? Well, I just want to get to know him more. I'll just, I just want to get to know him more. Give me, give me, give no, me a question. Sometimes when you present such a good beginning, it's kind of like, okay, what, what shoe is going to fall type of thing. So that, okay. that's what, because I, I was the same way with Laverne. I was like, I like Laverne, but I'm going to wait to see because I want to see what shoe is going to fall with Laverne. Um, okay. Clifton. Clifton dropped a little for me this week. I like Clifton. I like Clifton with Joy. I was concerned where, when he was on the date with Joy, Joy was being very open and vulnerable and he was always trying to throw in a joke. So I don't know if he was deflecting or he had- You think some, so? Yeah, some, I, I didn't like, I, I know he was being flirty, but I felt like if she was being vulnerable or just even playful or whatever, he could have- I thought, they both, I thought they both I thought they both had a moment when they talked about their dads passing away that they was very did. They genuine. did. but then they did but then you know she said you know I I I connect with you and I see parts of me and you and then oh, okay <laughs> and then and then she was like I I I want some more of this or something and he was like you want some more of me I think I want a woman that's going to be like myself. I'm loud, I'm fun, I'm outgoing. I like to have a good time. No, don't go, Clifton. <laughs> it's a big one, Elizabeth. <laughs> they they right. had a fun, flirty date. That, that was cool. We could see we could see that connection for sure. Yeah. yeah. What, I will, what I will say, they did better with the, just the innuendos this week as opposed to the outright thing they were doing last week. So, so how he said it, yeah. I, but I, I thought, I thought it was a good end of the conversation. I didn't have an issue with it so much there. I did question the fact that nobody, either on the crew or anyone, communicated to Joy that he's allergic to coconuts. Like that, because that would yeah. be on with sign up for things like this. Your, um, your health information is a part of it. So if you have, if you have, um, if you, if you're a person like him who has allergies, like a severe allergy like that, that can kill you. you, that has to be communicated to the cook. It has to be communicated to the person you're going on a date with who's ordering the food. Like that has to be communicated. The fact that they did not communicate it is concerning to me. That was my bad. It's good? It's coconut in there. Are you serious? I taste it. Oh my God. Hold on. Is there coconut in this dish? He's allergic to coconut. If it's artificial coconut, I'm fine. But if it's real coconut, immediate allergic reaction. Maybe they have done it in the past, but they gathered the information, but maybe nothing has ever happened. Or, you know, they didn't they didn't really check. They have it on the form, but they didn't yeah, really yeah. check. So I think this was a lesson for them to make sure that they yeah. go to the cook and, you know, do all that stuff. So that that was important. I, th I think that could be a law. No, I'm saying that because that could be a lawsuit. That could be a real legitimate lawsuit for own. If yeah. the, I think what it was was that it wasn't real coconut. It was probably imitation coconut. Mm -hmm. And so that is what like he just tasted it. So it just brought up the conversation of oh right. I'm allergic to coconut and then he spit it out or whatever the case may be. I don't I I I I'm post I'm sure it was you know like they because that could be a lawsuit. If yeah. you cause this man to eat coconut on, on thing and he die or have some kind of serious yeah. So you yeah. those are things I, that those are things that, um, I feel like the key be, would um, definitely make sure that happened though. Who's that? Was a lawsuit, she would make sure that happened. Yeah. If the, if it was a lawsuit <laughs> needed to be had, and she was a girl. She was she was gonna get that money. She she get that that do I don't think so. You think so? You think so? I think I think she I think she has like for me, when I observed her this week, more adapted, you know, to her conversations, it, she gave me, like, she has the professional side, like, she knows when to turn what off. Like, she, to me, she has, like, okay. a nice balance. Yeah. yeah. And so yeah. she knows when to be professional and when to pull back when the flirt, when to, like, you know, hey, mm -hmm. I need to talk to you. Like, she just has these different elements and she just flips the switch when she needs it. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Rock. I was on the kids. She she don't she she put she put herself right in the center. I was like, okay. You know, I had mm -hmm. like some joy, but now you okay, you on the table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so which woman do we think is getting voted off next week? Because it's a woman um, it's the woman time to vote. Do we think it'll be precious? Precious or Carmen? No. I, I oh, think oh, I think it's very yeah. common. And, and yeah, common. It'll be common. It'll be common. It'll be common. Yeah. Precious still. I think Precious still has as as a bit of a connection with Paul. It'll be common, and it'll be common. I was saying, I was gonna say, I was like Precious common. Um. Uh. I we we love to see more. I think from AC next week. I really want to see. I really, really want to see Han Laverne on a date. Oh, AP. Well, yeah, it'll be common. Is that okay? Or Ace? What about Sabrina? No, though? what? what Ace, Ace. Sorry, Ace. Okay, Ace. Yeah. What about who? Sabrina, because I don't think she has no real connections with anyone. No, else. Well, I don't know. Sabrina. No, Sabrina, we saw Sabrina arguing with somebody, so we know Sabrina's going to be around for a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And in the beginning, all the guys like Sabrina. Sabrina. Sabrina is everything that I want in a woman on paper, in the physical. I'm going after her. Make my man. <laughs> Sabrina. I like her vibe. I like her presentation. Sabrina. The genuineness I felt when I was talking to her. Mm -hmm. And then what we wanted. She's literally like the, the female Demetrius. It's almost like they don't have to do much. They just there because she seems to be, she seemed to have been like the man, like just general, not every single man, but like they, yeah. she was one of the favorites in the beginning and Demetrius was a lot of the female's favorites in the beginning. Now, based on what? I don't know because both of them have been kind of underwhelming um, in the last two episodes. So I want to see, and Sabrina less so than Demetrius. She's been a bit more present and a bit more engaging. Mm -hmm. um, but not to the point that, like, if I don't see a right now, I don't see a connection for her. You know what I'm saying? So until I, mm -hmm. I need to see a connection. I need to see an actual like she's into Demetrius, and I think she's into. She said she's into Tori too, and there was there was a clip of them hugging. Mm -hmm. So I kind of want to see what happens with her next week. But she's safe. I think yeah. she's safe. Okay. So yeah, definitely Carmen. Carmen is throwing Laverne under the bus, but Laverne would have been the one to save her. Because Laverne, well, they to me they had a good connection. I don't know if he anything did. happened on his end, but that would have been the one to save her. And then now she throw him under the bus, so I can get back to him. That oh, you know Laverne. I mean, Carmen, you know Ace can tell him. Yes. Ace can tell him. Well, you know, Carmen said you were negative. I'm, so I'm curious to see what happened. Like I'm pretty sure something happened between Laverne and Carmen that we don't know about. But maybe you know, give Carmen an opportunity to speak on it. See, but that's the thing with these stuff happening, like when like we were saying last week, or I don't know which week, last week or week before, but I mentioned things happening off camera because they clearly they go on dates, they have phone calls, and we're not privy to it. And then we see stuff like that happening, and then we're like, well, what happened? So this seems to be an off camera thing. And I don't know if they just don't want to mention it. Um, you know, they just, because they're because they're not supposed to be engaging with each other. You see they're what I mean? So they can't come to the outside of the show. Yeah, they're not supposed to be engaging outside of the show. Yeah. 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 And I think they may be stricter with it this season because of whatever transpired last season with Shallow and Phil. That you can look that up to Ron because I know you may not have seen it. Um, but there's there was a whole accusation, and I think Owen is they allegedly being sued about it by Shiloh or whatever. That's why we oh. mention it. So yeah. Um, so yeah. So I think they'd probably be very strict with it. So she definitely couldn't come on and say, oh, he and I went out if it was a situation where they went out. So she just could say, well, oh, we were talking and he was being negative. But, okay. you know, you know, I, I, I want to see, I want to see how that bodes for her next week. Yeah. 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 All right. On that note, we want to thank you so much for joining us on this episode as we reviewed episode three of Ready to Love. We want you to like and subscribe and send in your comments, send in your questions, send in your insights. Let us know what you thought about the episode and who are you rooting for and who do you think is going home next and how are you liking the curveballs so far that are being thrown our way. 
Until next time, we'll see you later. Uh -huh.